Hi, I'm Brian. Today I'm going to show you how I gave new life to this handsaw by retoothing it. When I bought my first house a few years ago, my dad gave me a bunch of tools for Christmas. One of the tools was this Stanley Sharp Tooth Saw. I used it for a few projects, but it got dull and didn't work very well, so I forgot about it. In the last year I started reading some of Paul Sellers stuff and stumbled across an article on retoothing a saw, which I've linked to in the video description. The sharp tooth saw has a strange tooth shape, so I thought that rather than trying to sharpen it, I would file off the teeth and start from scratch with a ripsaw pattern. I had used it to cut some branches on a pine tree at some point, so it had a bunch of pine pitch on it. I scrubbed off what I could with some denatured alcohol, then sanded off the rest. I filed off the teeth with a bastard file, which took some time. This piece of pallet wood will serve as my guide for cutting new teeth. I made a mark every 3 32nd of an inch and scored a line across. This will give me about 10 points per inch. Next I chiseled a step into each line, creating a groove for my file to follow. Initially I tried using a hacksaw to start the teeth, but found that the hacksaw wouldn't cut into the blade. Either my hacksaw blade is too soft or my handsaw is too hard. Filing the teeth took a long time, so I'm guessing the blade is pretty hard. You might notice that I didn't cut teeth in the first two inches or so of the saw. I did this after seeing the Glen Drake joinery saws, which have the same feature. It's supposed to make starting the cut easier, and it really works. I have a link to their website in the video description. After initially cutting the teeth, I tested the saw out. It cuts well, but binds horribly because I haven't given any set to the teeth yet. Before setting the teeth, I sharpened the saw again with a smaller file. The file I initially used was too large across the corners. You can see in this picture that the teeth on the left have deeper gullets than the ones on the right. Next I marked every other tooth with a sharpie for setting the teeth. I don't have a saw set, so I used a nail set and hammer to set the teeth. I found it difficult to be accurate this way, and ended up damaging some of the teeth, and knocked one off altogether. I recommend buying a saw set if you plan on sharpening hand saws. Testing out the saw, I found that it cross cuts pretty well, and rips even better. I think it could still use more set to the teeth, so I'll be ordering a saw set soon. Overall I'm happy with the way the saw turned out, but the time investment was substantial. The steel in the blade is hard, so it took many strokes to cut each tooth. I don't think it's worth spending a large amount of time on a cheap saw like this, but if you're restoring an older saw, it might be worth it. In my next video, I'll be showing you how I refinished this coffee and end table set and share some mistakes I made along the way. Sign up for my email newsletter to be notified when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Take care.